Hello, this is not a spring chicken today. I know, things go crazy. Well, there's one thing I'll tell you about, <laughs> tell you about the media, because we've learned this very much with LA Fashion Week, is when the media covers an event and they're told that, well, let's just say, when they have the feeling that they are extremely underappreciated and they're just a nuisance, well, guess what that does to your coverage? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And Obama loses his temper today with the news media. I know that they uh, uh, basically, he wasn't on teleprompter. He got asked a question that he didn't like. And when he was, he, Obama has a god awful bad temper. And when the President of the United States says, maybe you should have your mouth shut permanently. That is meant as a threat on a person's life, even though his people are saying, no, he meant, I love that, he just meant that he would make certain that he would never be a reporter again, which is another <laughs> you know, threat. They said you can't get out of it when the President of the United States has got a bad temper like this man does. I mean, he has really got a bad temper. And it's a whole, in a room full of news and media In a room full of news and, press conference. and he loses his temper. And, oh. and it's why, I mean, Bill O'Reilly may say, this is one of the great debaters in our time. No, the guy couldn't debate a junior high school debating person because the first thing they do is they push his they button. They push his button. And you can push his button in God awful a lot of ways. You know, like you say, I understand you're ashamed that you're a Muslim. I understand that your daughters, you know, I, I understand that, you know, the rumor is your daughters are a lot of fun. And stocks may have earned pullback again. Oh, God, that this, they're up again. Okay, they got to collapse. I heard people yesterday talking over on the, the, the mainstream channel saying that, that all the stocks are massively overvalued and, and they're not from... They're not from corporate earnings. They're from basically screwing around with one another. They're, you trade with one another, you raise the value of the stock. But the independent investor is not investing in the stock market. And they said there's no reason for NASDAQ to be climbing like it is because most of the issues on NASDAQ are losing money. And Israel, Gaza violence rages into fourth day. Yeah, and it's now fifth day because it was a day earlier. There, uh, there's a massive war going on because they know the President of the United States is not going to assist the, the Jews anymore. And because of that, they know that they can take the country now. And the Israeli people are not going to go down easily. I mean, they've already told the President of the United States that they don't trust him. And I think most of them, okay, I think like two out of every three members of the House and Senate basically voted against the President of the United States and said they will support Israel even if the President doesn't. And they, they control the military. He doesn't. He's Commander-in-Chief. You do not send the military into battle without act of Congress, which is what he's been doing. And they can override him. And they, two, -third, two out of every three is a two-third thing. He can't stop them if they decide to help Israel. And near Japan's nuclear zone, residents live in Limbio. Or limbo. Limbo, yeah. <laughs> I think like, limbo is one of, one of the uh, the children of Rush Limbo. <laughs> uh, but um, what happens is is that they're totally refusing to seal those reactors off permanently. They're trying to put them back online. I mean, they're damaged. Basically, you do what the Russians do. You declare it a dead zone, seal everything up, and just. But because it's an island, they don't have enough room. So they're foolishly trying to. Well, what it was. The nuclear bomb was supposed to kill everybody, and it didn't kill everybody. Well, mm -hmm. it did a lot of damage to people for years. And New York funeral set for reporter killed in Syria. Yeah, well, okay, if you where you shouldn't be, you often tend to get your butt shot off. I mean, I remember my father uh, was talking to Ernie Pyle uh, one day, and the next day he's hearing it over his communication system that Ernie Pyle had been killed in action. Mm -hmm because Ernie Powell wanted to be up at the front where the action was, that's where you're most likely to get killed. And love letters reveal Nixon's sensitive side. Well, you know, Nixon was a poet and, uh, and other things. People tend to forget he was an artist and a poet. Um, Nixon, okay, Nixon was like Obama in the fact that Nixon had a really bad temper and he took his temper out when he uh, did it. Oh, yeah, I just, I, I, I just saw the whole what? floor is covered with the soda pop. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it is. We just, we're trying to figure out where the stuff I would drink right now. I can see it, so. And U.S. soldier 
flown out of Afghanistan as an anger Mars for that visit. You know why? Because why? They, uh, somebody went and told Obama that uh, you cannot turn an American soldier over to a foreign government. And uh, Obama probably didn't like it because, first of all, they all. Uh, secondly, they know the guy was injured in an attack by Muslims on his people and suffered a brain injury. Then Panetta, well, he may face the death penalty. And, and uh, well, even while the Democrats are, okay, the same people that would defend the guy that goes up and shoot a police officer in the back of the head after he's unconscious want the death penalty for a guy that's got, they know it was wounded in an accident and has a brain injury. Because they don't like military. They think the military deserves it. And so do police officers and firemen. They all deserve what they get. Oh. Exclusive. Obama and Cameron discussed tapping oil reserves sources. Yeah. But they, uh, okay, 20 minutes after it went, it really went, okay, the stock market rose on the news, but the people out there, for, you know, well, it's going to, we're going to drive the market down for five days. Uh, yeah. But they also announced at the same time following that, that gas prices had peaked, of course, 15 minutes after they proudly announced on ABC News that gas prices had peaked, they went up five, five cents a gallon more. That's mm -hmm. not peaked. And Syria marks anniversary of uprising and violence grows. Because they're not, um, uh, I love this, the Obama administration. We have emails to show how out of touch that Assad is from the people of his country. He's a dictator. They're all out of touch with the people. The only people they got to be in touch with is the military. And Marines to cut four battalions and 12 air squadrons. Yeah. Obama's got, national defense is going to be cut because of our president. Really? They still have space left to cut? <laughs> no, they're going to they're gonna do what the Democrats always do. The only thing that ever cut is defense spending. The Democrats will never cut any of their programs, but defense spending will always get whacked. And what do you do with the uh, 22,000 people that are no longer going to be working? They're going to be unemployed and no jobs for them. And home default notices rise in February at Realty Track. But don't worry, homes are selling at a record rate. Mm. Tomorrow you will find out that homes are not selling at a record rate. As Gingrich stumbles on, stumbles on, many see a Romney Centaurum race. Yeah, and that they think that Ron Paul is dealing with uh, that is dealing with Romney now, which he is not, because Ron Paul wants to have authority at the convention. They all know that Ron Paul is going to support an independent candidate no matter what. Mm -hmm. And SEC charges shares post Felix over pre-IPO trading. Oh, they say, okay. Obama doesn't like. At Wall Street, if you do what is normal business, he considers that a crime, so they charge him. And uh, what happens is everything that Obama is doing is being overturned in the higher courts. So that's why nobody's actually going to jail because they know that any conviction that Obama gets will be overturned because of his business as usual. If you're doing things that are, okay, there is a thing is if if you break a door to get in and you everybody breaks the door to get in then there's not a crime in breaking the door to get in, is what everyone does. So therefore, it is thus, it's not really a crime anymore. And SEC charges, oh, James Murdoch pleads innocence ahead of UK report. Well, why would he, okay, why in the world would he plead guilty to something? Because you have no control over what reporters are doing. They're trying to get editors, they're trying to get that. No, if a reporter goes and uses a source to get something. See, the trick is, in England, there is no press protection like there is in the United oh, States. Oh, there isn't? No, there is none. And Greek cabinet formally approves bailout deal. And, 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 and the elections that are going to be held next month is going to formally throw all of these people out of office. They said the new prime minister, when he comes in, they expect to, uh, to nullify everything. So it's ridiculous. And departing Goldman Banker slams ripoff culture. Well, like I said, basically, that isn't exactly what happened, was they did an op-ed piece, and the New York Times is claiming that the op-ed piece was him attacking Wall Street. What? No, it was just a guy leaving, talking about how business is done, so the, the, the New York Times took what was said and then made it look like it was an investigative report on the corruption, and that the... That the uh, how Occupy Wall Street is driving people to confess to their crimes now. Mm -hmm. And dozens of Syrian civilians killed in Homs Daylight Savings Time 
And lost sleep may put heart at risk. Oh, I know. I love that. <laughs> I know that's two, that's two different things stuck together. How oh, is that what it is? Time. Oh, I know. It seems like we've been on for an awful long time. Well, that was probably the end of it because of Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. <laughs> okay. I know they're combined. Yeah, I know that. You know. Oh, okay. Uh, absolutely, no one likes to hear the truth when it's told to them. <laughs> I know that could sound like. I'm <laughs>